boys and girls. It's so good to see you today. I'm gonna be reading you a book um, about colors and we're gonna do some color mixing and have a whole bunch of fun even though I can't be with you in person. At least we can be together and do some science and read some books together. The book I'm gonna be reading to you is called Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, and one blue. There's the red, yellow, and blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dreamed puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. The red feet stirred the yellow puddle until, oh look, he put red into the yellow with his red feet. Let's see what happens. Look, he cried. Red feet and yellow puddle makes orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. Mm, what do you think's gonna happen? His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, Yellow feet in the blue puddle, what's it gonna make? Look down, said the round mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. <gasps> Look at that, yellow mouse in the blue puddle make a green puddle. Then the blue mouse jumped into the red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until they all shouted. Look at that purple one. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white. And painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow. And one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part. Yellow and blue to paint a green part and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. The end. Well, what I thought we could do now is do some color mixing. So I have three jars of water and we are going to make them the primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. So I have some blue dye and I'm gonna put it into the blue water. And look, the water turns blue. Ooh, that's a dark blue, isn't it? I have red and I'm gonna put it into my next water. And what happens to the water? <gasps> look, it turns red. And I have yellow to put into the next water jar. And my water turns yellow. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what the mice did in the book. They stepped into the paint puddles, but we're just gonna mix the colors and see what colors they make. At the end of the book, we found out all the different colors they made. If we add red, to blue, what is it going to make? Let's see, friends.
<gasps> Look at that. It's hard to see because it looks more purple to me. Here, I'll take it out for you so you can see a little bit better. And I drip it down and it's a purple color. Do you see that? So red and blue make purple. The next color we're gonna try is adding red and yellow together. If I put red with yellow, what do you think will happen? Hmm, let's see. <gasps> red and yellow together make orange. Ooh, that is really hard to see. You can see in my pipette that it's orange. It's hard to see in the glass. See how it's orange in the pipette? Orange. So red and yellow make orange. Next, we're going to add a color to the yellow. We're going to add blue. Let's see what happens. We should be able to see this one pretty well. There goes the blue into the yellow. Let's see what happens. Blue and yellow make green. Let's see what happens. There's my green, you see it? The blue and the yellow that made green. There it goes. So we made three more colors out of our original colors, which were blue, red, and yellow. Now we have purple, orange, and green. And we did some color mixing together. So now we know that if we have certain colors and mix them together, they will make other colors. It was so fun mixing with you today and doing some science and reading you a book and I can't wait to be with you in person. I am so excited to be back in the classroom. I love you guys. Bye-bye for now.